Another frequency of light that amateurs typically observe in is calcium K line or calcium H line as well, uh, available from Daystar, uh, Lund and Coronado. Uh, Daystar produce a range of filters in calcium K, which is one frequency of light, and calcium H, which is uh, a different frequency of light. The most popular one is the calcium K line. Now, calcium K is a different level in the chromosphere of the sun. What we're looking at in hydrogen alpha and calcium is the atmosphere of the sun, um, typically um, higher up uh, above the photosphere which is where we're looking in white light. Uh, again we're narrowing down the frequency of light that we're looking at. In hydrogen alpha we're at the infrared or the kind of red end of the spectrum at uh, 656.28 nanometers. With calcium we're at the ultraviolet end of the spectrum at uh, 393 uh, nanometers. Now this can produce quite a dim view so people have uh, commented many times that when they observe through a hydrogen alpha telescope the view is really really nice and impressive. If they look through a calcium telescope typically the view can be quite disappointing especially if you're old Older. The reason for this is as it's at the ultraviolet end of the spectrum, uh, as we get older things like macular degeneration and a yellowing which occurs in, in the eyes uh, can affect your vision at that end of the spectrum. Typically younger people can see calcium K-line features uh, very, very clearly. People who've had cataract operations as well tend to be able to see calcium K-line very well. Calcium K is a filter, works in a different way to an etalon and more akin to a traditional filter that you'd see for, for uh, nighttime observing. Um, this is a modified version of the Coronado PST that I've made myself um, where I've taken the Coronado PST's calcium K-line filter and mounted it into my own assembly which allows me to use it in conjunction with my own telescopes, any refractor I choose, up to approximately 100 millimetres. This has been commercially made and developed as well by the Lunt organisation where they make a range of uh, calcium K-line filters with again a secondary blocking filter um, and they can be used in telescopes safely, uh, refracting telescopes up to about 100 millimetre aperture. Anything higher than that, and again, you can have thermal issues because you're not rejecting the energy in the same way that you are with hydrogen alpha in with the calcium K line type products. So again, the light comes in, uh, the filter reduces the amount of uh, radiation down. Uh, typically what I've got here is a dichroic uh, hot mirror filter which bounces a lot of the thermal energy back out, uh, thus keeping this quite cool. You can touch this um, and the Lunt models after several hours and they're quite safe to touch, there's no real uh, thermal issues and, and heat buildup. up. Um, filters in the middle here and then you've got a secondary trim blocking filter, um, works in a different way to the hydrogen alpha one there and again you can then just place your eye or more effectively a camera or uh, an electronic eyepiece, television eyepiece like the Wacoms or the Mead electronic eyepiece for example, they sit in quite nicely here and can give you very good views. The views that you're seeing are very fundamentally different to the ones that you're seeing in hydrogen alpha. You will see similar features, you'll see things like sunspots and active regions but they'll appear very different. Uh, the view is typically a kind of purpley blue view um, being at the ultraviolet end of the spectrum uh, where you can see things like super granules, um, the sunspot active regions and you get this kind of almost white um, plage type effect around uh, active regions which can be really really interesting to look at. Calcium K-line uh, tends to be a little bit more tolerant of poor seeing as well, contrary to popular belief being at the blue end of the spectrum. Uh, I've found from my own observations and images that I can image um, at various times in the day and get very good, very steady images of the sun, um, even when the sun's quite low um, in terms of altitude above uh, the horizon, it works quite well.